okay. Good morning. What's up? This is Keith Kelfus. I just woke up. Thanks for waking me up at seven o'clock in the six, seven o'clock in the morning, John. I need some coffee. I'm trying to stop drinking coffee because it gives me anxiety, man. Amazon Prime just delivered some food this morning. Now I need a quick protein shake. All milk. Filtered water. Minerals. Come here, baby. Come here. Well, I normally don't drink coffee in the morning because it gives me anxiety, so I stopped drinking it. Because I wonder why it's 10 o'clock in the morning and I'm all anxious and it's not a comfortable feeling and it's literally is just the coffee. But then every day I get home from work, the first thing I do is get a cup of coffee. Coffee is crazy, man. It's like crack. All right, so this is what we're doing. Right now we're going to meet up with Quentin Howell because Quentin is doing a filming project. It's top secret, I can't tell you. <laughs> what up, man? How you doing? <laughs> this is Quentin, this is John. How you doing? John, this Good to be here. John, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. Quentin Howell. So I gotta just get this quick jo uh, drone shot for Eric. He asked me to film this roof real quick for his crew. Gets all the shingles torn off. I'm just doing it real quick. Michigan on Eric Reno's job site with John here, with Quentin Howell, and Quentin's filming a commercial project, like a TV commercial for Eric Reno's business and some other media stuff that it's top secret. Eric is just brilliant for coming up with very good ideas. Maybe he'll share them with you. I was like, Quentin, can I please come too? So Quentin hired me to do some extra camera work. So I'm not on a landscaping job today. I am here doing this and I'm very excited to do it. It's gonna be fun. So right now he's flying this DJI inspired drone around and getting some beautiful cinematic shot. Eric's talking about when he we met, he was 15 and he I came home in my apartment. My friend Bruce, I gave Bruce the key to my apartment and 
and I never knew Eric. And I come home and this Eric kid is passed out drunk on, in, in my apartment, sleeping on the floor on my white carpet and there's puke on the carpet. And I wake him up, I go, who the hell are you? And why is there puke all over my carpet? And he's cleaning, he's like, I'm sorry, bro. He was drunk, we became friends. Or you can do it though. Yeah, I'm flying the Inspire right now. This is a totally different drone. I have a lot of responsibility right now. Oh, it just feels like it wants to crash, but I ain't gonna let it crash. It's beautiful how this is working. I'm parallaxing, we're, we're parallaxing, which means that it's going like this. That smooth, cinematic drama. You know what would be a dope shot? So, what we're doing is a top secret, a media marketing project for Eric Reno. Let's go ask him. So what we're doing is we're filming a visual, virtual presentation <laughs> to go that? along with my face. And as I'm explaining how we do things, um, we're gonna have actual footage of us doing the certain movements and preparations that I'm expressing as far as. So you don't have to just sit in front of a computer and I'm just talking like that. Why is that? To differentiate myself, you know, like when I, I'm in person, I can, I can I can show you what we do. I have samples and things like that. Um, but when it's in front of a computer, like I want to make sure that you're understanding what I'm saying. Six feet of ice and water. You're actually going to see six feet of ice and water shield being rolled on a, on an actual roof that we're on. The way we protect things, protect the houses. Instead of me just talking about it and giving you multiple items, you're going to have visuals for everything that I'm saying. So that's the importance. So you could be on a web chat with a client where you're selling them a job, and you're remote and you're right. doing an entire presentation and showing them videos and visuals. Yeah. So that's super high value. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, it's, it's hard right now because a lot of people, like once it gets cold and stuff, they're not gonna want you in the house because of everything that's going on in the world and stuff. So I think when you just show up and wave to somebody in the window and then email them a proposal and there's multiple options for thousands and thousands of dollars, I just don't feel like that's, you know, they're not getting the value and neither are you. you know? So to get the value, I wanna really have you understand how much we've invested, how much time we've invested into this, how much money we've invested into having things roll smooth and the equipment that we have and the catch-all and, and all the processes that we put in place to make sure that everybody's getting delivered the best service that we can do. That's sweet. And where the extra money's coming from, if there is, you know, if we are a little bit higher, I want you to see the value that this is the difference why. That's you dope. Know, to some people it's worth it, to some people it's not, but everybody has their perspective by itself, right? So this is, Marketing. This is in your marketing budget. Yeah, this is my marketing budget. Plus, we'll have a lot of B-roll footage for multiple different things. We'll have a lot of like YouTube video, uh, how-to videos. So when when we go on the backside and start prepping and adding stuff, we can, we'll have footage for multiple projects. But this is the main goal: is to achieve this this one and nail it for the first time. A virtual sales presentation for your clients that they can do on their tablet. Yeah, Which and we'll always have stuff for for future commercials and, and web commercials and how-to videos and skylight insulation guides and you know we're gonna have so much here and I specifically picked this house because of the multiple skylights we got a chimney we got three bath fans a couple pieces of routed wood we got valleys we got hips we got sections we got ridge vent so we have a little bit of everything that I explained all in one place so we've been waiting to do this job to make this happen at this video at this day it's crushing it bro that's insane it's gotta be different man one step ahead of the rest, but now you just spilled the beef. <laughs> yeah, so as far as the equipers go, they're, they're about 35 grand, 30 to 35 grand, depending on what attachments you get for them. But they show up every single day and they work every single day. So we tow them around, they drive themselves around the property, they lift themselves up 12 feet so they can actually be on the roof. So instead of the guys throwing all the trash on the ground, putting it in garbage cans, walking it around, throwing it into a dumpster, or they'd have to carry the, the trash up the roof, down the roof to the other side and throw it in the dumpster. We can throw all these from any location on the property. And then the dumpster, will, the equipter will drive itself to the dumpster, hydraulically dump the trash and, and return. That was a perfect explanation. That's a whole video in and of itself. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. We can make multiple videos here. All right, so marketing your business is super important. Today with just your phone, you can literally take your phone out and make videos on job sites. You can take pictures, go on Google My Business and upload, upload your website, your Instagram, all the social media platforms. But 
the interesting thing is you can create a Dropbox folder or a Google Drive and then every time you take media for your business, store it, right? You don't have to have like a $20,000 camera like Clint Howell or some big marketing budget to do all this. You can literally do it all with your phone and then create videos. You could create a video of you standing at a job site of you working and talk about everything that's going on for three to four to five minutes. And then afterwards, just take your phone and flip it around and then just go around and videotape the process or take your phone out of your pocket several times during the day or during the project before, during, after, and then get a little editing app. I edit everything on my phone on an app for Android called Power Director Studio. It's like six bucks. It's a great app, by the way. Export it, upload it to YouTube. So you can film all this B-roll footage. Then you have the B-roll going over the top of the footage of you talking. So while you're talking, it's showing the footage of what you're talking about. It's like a voiceover. And when it goes back and forth between you and the footage, then you can show your clients or prospective customers the process of how you do things. And then now when you have that video on YouTube and on Facebook and you're putting out videos and putting out pictures, what you're doing is you're showing your audience of customers what's possible what are you doing what's going on in your business what type of value are you currently creating for your other customers that you could create for them because if they go online and they're looking for a contractor and then they see just like a name a blue name of a business maybe a website maybe some positive reviews but they see your business and they see all these videos and footage and you and showing business and smiling and before and afters and all this proof all these results in advance it creates a lot of value for them and they're more than likely going to want to go with you versus the competition because you're showing the proof that you do the type of work that you do right if you're a reputable business and you also have a bunch of positive client testimonials and positive reviews the more you can get your customers to know you and like you and trust you before you ever even step foot on their property is the more you have a sales system generated that's selling for you on autopilot. And if you even think about this, it's like a cloning machine, a stamping machine. You could take the times when you have a really good day and you make a really good video, right? Let's say you had a great day. You felt great. You woke up on the right side of the bed and you made an awesome video. But let's say like three weeks later, you felt sick and you were tired and you got no sleep and you had some drama going on in your life. You still have that video on the internet showing the best side of you showing the customers while you're sleeping, while you're eating, while you're on vacation. So the more of these video, videos you have going is the more salespeople you have. Like you can have a team of 20 salespeople out selling for you, but it's really just you in videos while you're doing other things. That's how you can use media to leverage your marketing for free if you want. You can also take the best video and you can put that on a YouTube ad, on a Facebook ad, on an Instagram ad, right? You can put it right on, on your website and then put your, uh, your uh, website on Google ads and drive traffic. You can integrate that to your Google My Business. It's really exciting, right? Not really that hard to do if you just say, if you just roll it into your, your agenda. You don't have to do it every day. You can say, you know what? I'm gonna make some content once a week. Every Wednesday before noon, I gotta put out a piece of content or get excited. Put it on your calendar, put it on your schedule and get it done, it doesn't have to be great. Sometimes the lower the quality of the video and if the footage is shaky, is actually the better because it's more believable and raw and real. You don't need a camera like this. Unless you're selling really, really expensive stuff. Maybe a camera, you know, high ticket items. So, we just got back from lunch. We got some Subway. And now we're back to uh, filming fun. I remember I was literally the guy on the roof doing the roofing, dreaming about a day I could get paid to not be the roofer, but to be the guy being paid to videotape. And it's a reality now. Doesn't mean that tomorrow I won't be on a landscape job digging with the shovel. But I think that's, I like it like that. I like the pendulum swing. I like be able to be working your ass off one day and the next day you're directing, next day you're delegating, and the next day like you do it all and you stay grounded and there's nothing wrong with that. And you're, it's like 
until I think that your life or your business calls for you to absolutely you can you're not you can't do labor anymore period because it would detract and it would hurt other people their livelihoods what I mean is if you're responsible to keep the calendar full and make sure it bright is on the table you should not be digging with the shovel you have to have other people do that while you go out and make it rain and do all the sales but I think to just make the leap from here to there it's more of a step-by-step -step process depends on how fast you want to go though too you control your own destiny all right guys, so check this out. Right now we've just torn off this section and we're gonna start prepping. Before we start prepping, there's a few things that we wanna check. We wanna make sure all the nails are taken out and we have a nice clean deck to work with. So you'll see as we keep going, we're gonna keep removing nails and, and uh, different staples and each clips. Now what we've seen right here is we have an old bath vent that used to be here. This used to exhaust heat. So when it exhausts the heat, it's rotted this plywood. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have to replace this plywood. So I'm gonna remove this sheet of plywood as well as the sheet I'm standing on and replace it with new plywood and put our new age clips back in and then we can start prepping. So now I'm gonna do it and then I'm gonna talk again before I do what I wanna do. and movie director. He looks like a famous movie director. <laughs> See? He even's got the moves. He doesn't even have to do anything. He's just cool. Do the red dragon. Do the red dragon. What, what is this thing on the front, man? Matte box. The matte box. What does that do? Keep the reflection off of the lens. So you want me to lens flares? Oh. Some people like them. Some people don't. What's the power? You can always add them later. <laughs> Get that camera from him. Eric. Ooh. <laughs> Just like a still shot. We only had that, man, back in the day. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't, the only thing that benefits me is like the look and like the equipment. It's not more, it's not like the, I mean, I guess we get more day jobs done in a week. Dude, that equipter is dope. Yes, sir. Spoiled rotten, man. <laughs> It's hard to do it because it got a little, uh, it corrects for itself and uh, if you push it like a little bit too close to that roof, it may drift right into it. So I'm trying not to have an accident at the end of the day. Alright guys, we're wrapping up, we're getting out of here. It was awesome, it was a successful shoot with my friend John Padilla, Quentin Howell, Eric Reno. Quentin is gonna do all of the work for all the editing on the back end for Eric's virtual presentation for his business and marketing. I got a sweet vlog out of it. You, you guys got a sweet vlog out of it. And um, we got some landscape projects to dive directly back into tomorrow morning. But it was fun to not go to a job site today and come and do this instead with my, my friends, man. I love doing this, and I got paid. <laughs>